Well, folks, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Captain Boat Builder. I am here uh, very comfortably situated in my basement. Another year has gone by and it's cold and kind of dreary outside. So I'm happy to be down here in the basement and I'm starting another build. I'm building a second boat. This will be a series on the construction of my second boat. It's called a Viola 14. Now you may know that a viola is a small violin, and I don't really know why this boat is called the viola, but anyhow, that's the name of it. It's a particularly attractive design, at least to me. A lot of the construction techniques are the same as you may have seen in my previous video on the Sassafras 12. Some things are new, so there may be some new information for you. Uh, I have planned to deviate some in the construction of the boat from the plans, not so much from the plans, but the recommended building techniques. Uh, and these changes will be uh, pretty much uh, cosmetic in nature. So I'll be sure to point that out and let you know how it goes. I do want to make a special announcement. I have what I think is my youngest subscriber. His name is Patrick and he lives in Meridian, Mississippi. He's mostly interested in fishing, but he did watch the entire Sassafras 12 series and enjoyed uh, the building of a small kayak. Uh, the interesting thing is that Patrick's only nine years old. So Patrick, I hope you're watching. I hope you're enjoying the new build and we're glad to have you back. The, uh, the line drawings for the Viola 14, you'll be able to see them uh, over my left shoulder. I have them up on the wall again for encouragement. I'll have some close-ups for you here in just a few more minutes, but that's the background. Again, we'll start uh, the video with the three questions. Why do you want to build a boat? What kind of boat do you want to build? And where are you going to build it? And I'll quickly review those. Um, my reasons for building the boat, the answer to the question, why do you want to build a boat? They're pretty much the same as they were a year, a year ago. I'm looking for a project that I can do here in my basement over the winter when the weather's bad. Uh, I enjoyed the last build so much that I decided to do another one. I'd like to give some credit to my mentor at Chesapeake Lightcraft, Terry Otis. He said to me a year ago, he said, you have to be careful. He said, this boat building can be habit forming. And clearly for me it is because I'm starting boat number two. So the reasons for the build are pretty much the same as um, when I built the Sassafras 12 a year ago. And uh, the second question is what kind of a boat do you wanna build? This particular boat is what they refer to as a sailing canoe. You can see that it's uh, pointed at both ends. It's a little wider than most canoes, a little flatter bottom. I'm hoping a little more stable, but it has a nice rig and for me, uh, it's, it's a very appealing design. Uh, as I was looking for boats to build, I realized that I'm not really that great a woodworker, and so I wanted a kit where all the parts are cut out and, in advance. And so I found this boat available in kit form. Uh, this kit was produced by John Owen, who is in Texas. He did a beautiful job, and I'll get to that a little bit later. So... Um, what kind of a boat do you want to build? I wanted similar construction, it's stitch and glue, but I thought, okay, I really like sailing, so I'm gonna go back to sailboats as opposed to kayaks or canoes. And the third question, again, from last, uh, the last presentation was, where are you gonna build this boat? And I'm building it, again, in my basement. Uh, it's 14 feet long, so it still fits in the basement, and I can still get it out the door. So those are the uh, three questions that I posed uh, in the beginning of the video series last time. Those are the answers. And I am uh, looking forward to this build. And I wanted to just uh, finish up now. I wanted to show you a, more of a close-up of the line drawing of the boat 
and you can see some of the interesting uh, characteristics of the boat. And uh, uh, again, I'm glad to have you back. And uh, for the next video, we'll be starting just like we did last time with uh, what's in the box when you order the kit, what can you expect to get from the manufacturer, and we'll start there. So again, thanks for joining me. So just to finish up this first video, I wanted to show you a, a close-up here of the line drawing of the Viola 14. And I'll start down at the bottom. If you look at the bottom, you can see that this boat is pointed at both ends. The two ends are not quite identical. It's a little bit wider in the back, which gives it more stability. But since it's pointed at both ends, it's referred to as a canoe, a sailing canoe. And you can see when you look at the uh, lower image, there are actually two stick figures drawn in there. One who's sitting in the sailing position and the other one who's sitting facing fore and aft. He's in what would be a rowing position. So this boat can also be rowed as a canoe. And if you look at the upper image, you can see that the boat has relatively low freeboard. It sits low in the water. It has an unstayed two-part aluminum mast. The sail area is approximately 50 square feet. There's also a much bigger rig, but I think I'll start with the smaller one. It shows the position of the skipper sitting almost directly in the middle of the boat. Uh, it has a nice daggerboard profile and a completely vertical rudder. And it's going to come with a nice square head main that I am getting from the designer, Michael Storer, who also has a company that manufactures sails. It's a fully battened sail. It's a pretty modern rig, and I'm looking forward to some nice performance from this uh, sailing dinghy. Sailing canoe. It's a sailing dinghy. It's a sailing canoe. So uh, this is the line drawing of the boat. I particularly like the lines. And as we go on uh, in the next couple of videos, I'll give you some references for um, videos that you can see on YouTube, construction videos, and videos of the boat sailing. But this is it, the Viola 14. <laughs>